and Fezan, thanks for the introduction. Uh, it's been more than an honor and privilege to be here in most of the uh, elite members of the healthcare industry, and I can see many faces I know. Uh, not necessarily they might not know me, because I've been working into a lot of consulting assignments across India for quite a while, PwC, Ernst & Young, and I've always been at the back end of the operations end or the strategy end. So uh, let's start with a small note that we're talking about, you know, the body of the hospital, the external structures of the hospitals. Uh, let's come to a very soft point of the heart and the brain of the hospital. So we actually uh, make sure the heart and the brain of the hospital works more efficiently in a more customized way for any of the hospitals that we talk in. So having said that, <clears throat> Cognitor Healthcare is a focused, when I say focused, we are very focused into IT. Uh, is an offshoot of 20 years old company in India, been there in India for almost 20 years with a team size of more than 100 people across India and globe. Uh, Cognoto Healthcare caters to customized uh, uh, HMS requirements of the hospitals. Uh, I'm emphasizing more on customization because you'll know why I'm doing that. Uh, more about our company. So uh, we presented this case study around two, three months back in Delhi at the same event. And uh, surprisingly, we got extensive response from a lot of doctors you know, who came to me and say that Dhanraj, uh, customization is actually required for this. And uh, the first uh, customization that we did was one of the biggest hospitals in Surat that's coming up into uh, neurology. <clears throat> and uh, the launch of this particular product is by the end of this month. It's a 70-bedded hospital scalable to 100 uh, super speciality, I would say. So the idea was to improve the patient outcomes about how a patient journey can be eased into an IT system. Now, no, most of the doctors, when we arrive them or approach them, they're like, how are you different from other systems? You know, there are many other systems in it. So we talk about only customization. There are many bigger players in the market who would say that they do everything under the sun. We don't do that because we basically cater to the soft needs of the doctor. It can be smallest part of the pharmacy or the biggest part of the inventory. So uh, in India, we tend to uh, talk about things like, um, you know, same hat or the same size will actually cater to every uh, needs, but that's not the case over here. Every hospital is different. We're talking something which is super speciality, something multi-speciality. We're talking n numbers of indication in one hospital. There is no system in India right now which caters to everything in a very safeguarded manner. It's as simple as that. So if someone is trying to tell you that, okay, we do this, everything under the sun, sir, we aapke liye. Uh, I have my own doubts because we've been into this for quite a decade right now. IT systems are more like child, you know, the brain of a child. And uh, because every doctor needs to customize it for himself, uh, every hospital might have a different HMS. And I'm sure there will be, be a lot of doctors over here who have almost five systems to process one thing. They might have Skype to speak to the patient. They might have an other system to register the patient. They might have the other system to just store the database or a hardware which they don't know how to operate. So the idea was to create, and that's exactly why when we come to doctors, uh, we try to say that it's just not some system. It's a nerve system, it's, it's, it's a nerve center for prompt decision making. So how do we differ, how do we try to come into a consulting mode with the doctors is, we don't come as a vendor or a service provider, that we have a product, sir, and this is gonna fit for your hospital. No, we more come as a consultant. And when we come as that, we say that the profitability or the bottom line of the hospital will actually depend upon prompt decision makings, okay? The insight and analytics, the HMS that's gonna create. And that's where this came on. <clears throat> so why there was a need of this? Because people want to take better care of themselves. People are getting more uh, knowledgeable of healthcare. Um, I could see my auntie telling me, Dhanraj, I got an SMS from my doctor saying that, how are you? So that smaller thing is being implemented into a lot of patients right now, where patients are getting extra care. So people are, people are making, people are being more demanding about what the services that they're gonna get. So the HMS that we tried to bring in was patient-centric as well as the doctor-centric. Both ends of the, uh, both sides of the coins were catered to this. Patient-centricity, 
very important when you're talking about any HMS in India or abroad. We need to make sure that the patients are at home. The journey when it starts from the reception to the post discharge, they need to be connected. We're talking about increasing the intimacy of the patients for the doctors as well as the entire environment. In fact, the gentleman who spoke to me right now, he spoke a very good thing that when the patients are actually uh, admitted to a hospital, they are, if the climate and environment is dull, uh, they might not get a recovery period. Now, if you make it more happening, uh, similar, some similar thing with the patient centricity and doctor centricity. As I told you that I, we came out of a lot of doctors who were very um, angry or sad for using different systems for one particular purpose. They wanted to get in touch with patients online. They used different systems, Skype, video calling, WhatsApp calling, but no logs. What happens when you have a discussion with a patient? Very small part. Online consultation, when they come to the hospital, they don't have any viable recorded material that the patient did say this to them. We're talking about consent forms. I'm not saying all the hospitals might not have this, but some, when we came across, these were the issues. So what was the goal in getting into this? The goal was to make a robust, humane intelligence system, just not about codes, but more humane. <clears throat> This particular slide will sum up about what we actually did with this particular client of us. And if you see, it's more of uh, self-explanatory about how many times did we did the meeting, how many data points we did discussed, what are the kind of development that required for this particular system, and what is the support that we're going to give. So I'm sure that most of you might be uh, saying, oh, yeah, this is one of the issues. Oh yeah, pharmacy concerns are there. Illegal practices in pharmacy is there. Oh, my OT videos are not getting recorded. I don't get a backup of my OT videos. I do it from my mobile. I store it somewhere and I'm lost. Patient data has not been recovered when the second visit of the patient is there. You are clueless about what the patient did in the past because probably has lost his papers. He has not brought his own ID card and stuff. This was some primary data points that we considered. Paper documents to be considered or converted into digitalization. Patient history to be tagged. Automated prescription, which also talks about any undue effects or adverse effects the patient might have into his particular history. So the system actually comes up with a lot of pop-ups that this person has an allergy stuff. So next time if there is a second doctor treating the same patient, he knows that the patient has some allergies to some disease or some prescription that were given. Uh, I'm sorry I'm going too fast because of the time constraint because I want to show you the system also. Uh, multiple patient management tools, yeah. There were different tools used to talk to the patient, send SMS, SMS gateway, video, Skype, uh, many things. So they wanted something which can sync in. So as soon as a doctor sinks into a particular patient profile, he's able to seamlessly talk to him anywhere he want, from his mobile phone, from his desktop at home, by just a click. He doesn't have to log into WhatsApp or Skype or any SMS gateway just to make him remind that he is you know, connected with the doctors. Patient counseling videos. There were a lot of issues in the pharmacy. I'm sure most of the doctors might be knowing what I'm talking about. And those were also taken care of. A lot of illegal uh, possible happening in the hospitals, uh, which they wanted to overthrow and make sure that everything is transparent. post discharge connect. Most of the time, the patient went off. He's not in, in touch with the doctors or the hospital. Doctor is busy with many things. Admin is busy with catering to new patients. So how do we do it? So we integrated a social media connect, which is just not Facebook and um, Instagram, but it's more than that. We're talking about intelligent reminders to the patient about their birthdays, about their health, about safety tips, or of you know safety dying, di dieting tips. So this all things actually connects the patient post-discharge. Hosting and security was a problem where they said that, okay, we don't know what to do. Um, hardware were used, uh, many expensive hardware were used. We migrated the entire system into cloud-based system, one of the robust, you might be knowing Amazon Web Services. We are using those for making sure, and the cost has dipped one-fifth or one-tenth of what they were investing. Right? So this, these are the some points that has made them agree to implement this system because it's a lot of cost saving. 
scaling up to the outskirts, extending support. Say, for example, there is a hospital in Nagpur, but wants to cater to different localities into village area or rural area of Nagpur. We have created a system where the system can be used from there, and any of the patients uh, having a touch points in the out outpost will integrate the data into the main centers. So you don't have to implement 100 system. It's a web-based online system. One system, one cloud, and you can access it from anyone with multiple roles and multiple responsibilities. These were some primary data points we discussed. The idea was to make sure that the entire patient journey was seamlessly done into the hospital, <coughs> which also talks about from the registration to post-discharge. So the system will not only uh, contain or transmit information, it will actually compute it. So when I'm seeing this, uh, say for example, there are a lot of reports that are required to understand whether the, op the, the, the hospital is actually performing at a good bottom line or good profitability, what do we do with? Uh, we, have come to, we have come across a lot of doctors who actually depends upon the CAs and uh, other people who just talks about numbers. Uh, no offense in that, but there are a lot of time when there are disease in prevalence, where in specific month you get a lot of uh, people admitted. Those data are not recorded. In our system, we do that. So the doctors and the hospital, they actually know at what time, what month, and what date did we get this shoot into the patient income? Why did it happen? So it will actually compute itself and give you a lot of reports, which will help you make a lot of prompt decisions. Right? So there are other set of uh, pointers that the system is doing or will be doing. <clears throat> we'll be also sharing this presentation, I guess, with you guys. So I'll not read out everything, but I'll just give you some time to just go through it. One of the most important uh, thing that we thought was, uh, sorry, gathering all relevant information, lab results in one place. So it's been seen that a lot of doctors need the data to be stored. Very recent amendments uh, require the hospital to store the data for five years. A recent amendment by Health Ministry, if I'm not wrong, NEHA is the project that has gone live in last August, where a lot of HMS needs to buy to a lot of IT requirements of a, of a particular HMS. So in few years, like probably end of the year, you might not be able to take a HMS which is just out of the corner and which doesn't abide to NEHA laws, right? So uh, all these things were taken care in our system, and fortunately we started very early, and we took all the right decisions in implementing all the soft points and pain points into our system, right? These were the pointers, like say for example, how do I improve patient outcome? So how it will help me decide whether my system is going to help me, you know, understand a particular decision making process. It can be as simple as, you know, these questions. How many patients with hypertension have their blood pressure under control? Now how do I do that? The lab reports get invariably recorded into the system with the numbers, right? And it creates an output. So when I'm saying this, it's just verbal. It will be more exciting to see it live when any of your you know, um, colleagues or your, yourself would like to see the system. Uh, next, <clears throat> let's see, because I just wanted to run up. And uh, in the last uh, session that we had in Delhi, a lot of doctors came in and said, Dhanraj, why didn't you show what was there first and what happened right now. And uh, we said, okay, fine, let me do this this time when I'm there in Nagpur. And um, if you see, these are the previous screen of the doctors, different doctors, different system that they're using. Uh, these are just random screen. We're talking about patient registration, very cluttered, uh, not very visible in terms of how it is, how it look. I'm, I'm sure most of the hospital might have some systems like this. The idea was to create it more aesthetically nice, more user friendly, more pleasure to the eyes, you know. Some of the systems are like this. We're talking about billing criteria, how the systems have operated. These are our, this is our old system. So if you see, it's more of a system which looks like an operating system. The idea for us was not to make something like this, and within no time, probably just 60 working days, uh, we came up with a new robust system which is actually pleasing to see. I hope it will work over here because we need an internet connectivity. 
I'll just show you that system right now. Right, so if you see the kind of system that was initially there, you know, with a lot of different ways, I would say untidy, not easy to see or please your eyes. We made sure that the system that we come in was very clean. It gives a lot of different inputs, easy to navigate, very easy to know about what are the tasks. There is an entire demo of this particular system that can be given right now, but it will take a lot of time for us to uh, help you. Our understanding is that we came across to the needs of the doctors and deliver that to them. And we talk only about customization. So we are not an Apple to Apple or a me to kind of a HMS platform which are there into the market. There might be more robust systems. I don't disagree on that. But what we are trying to say is that every hospital needs its own customization. It might be the minor part of it. So the best part is this IP has been developed by us from past 15 years. It's not just three months of exercises. Our old system with 100 clients that we have uses our own standalone system. The new system are web-based right now, which have been migrated. And most of the hospitals are actually excited to have us on board uh, very soon. We uh, spoke to three, two governments, South Africa, also to uh, you know, implement the entire system into uh, their uh, you know, entire infrastructure. We have Linus Medical Center from Berlin. Surprisingly, we are getting a lot of leads from outside. And in India, we have another two hospitals who are speaking to us uh, to implement this web-based. So 80 to 90% of this work is already done. Let me just run through you some things in terms of how it is done. So this is the admin login, and you can see that how many people have logged in, what time they have logged in. This is a demo piece, so you might not see the real-time data. Patient registrations have been made very slim and sick. You can see the forms are more white, more broader, easy to navigate. You can increase the size of the font just by clicking some. You have tasks over here. The best part of it, you can integrate your entire email or communication over here. So for example, if you have a Gmail, most of the time your HMS is not integrated. Your Gmail gets an uh, inquiry from somewhere, but it's lost in the entire communication. Here, you can integrate your entire emails. It can be personal or official. And the system will respond to that mail in an automated format. So you're not losing a lead to the particular patient or any other stuff. It can be possibly medical tourism. It can be something like that, right? So uh, most of the data points over here, you have <coughs> notifications as we see on uh, Facebook and Gmail that what are the notification tasks. So an admin can allocate different notifications to specific admin people. It can be something for reception. It can be something for nurses. It can be something for doctors. And they will see what, they, what is pending over here and what needs to be done. Apart from that, the most important part I would like to show you is the reports. And if you see, there are like hundreds of reports can be generated just by click. Please pardon if the system is slow right now. It's because of the internet connectivity. So. You just name it and we have it with just a click. We are talking about collection reports, patient reports, doctor side, hospital reports, and general. There are many can be customized. We are talking about entire customization to this particular system. The system is self-learning. Uh, when I'm saying self-learning, we have embedded a technology in this where a lot of prescriptions or examination when the doctor types in. He has to type in multiple times. The system is going to actually learn it, make sure that there are like different set of uh, prescriptions or uh, what do you say, uh, examination of a patient is recorded into it. And the next time if the doctor is trying to type something, he will actually get it without typing the entire stuff. So these are few things that will help and reduce doctor's time on the system. Everything can be done off the records on your mobile, on your iPad, going to and traveling through US. It's accessible from anywhere. Uh, we are talking about um, a cloud-based system, which will also not help doctors, but also patients. Say, for example, a patient wants 
his reports to be you know taken from somewhere he just has to log in make sure all the doc, uh, patient records are there and retrieve it so lab records and everything is synced only in one particular system we are talking about not only maintaining the entire patient journey but also talking about scheduling an appointment and when we are talking about scheduling an appointment i am sure that uh, most of the people uh, find it very difficult in terms of how it needs to be done it's so easy to know that once you schedule these are color coded stuff very easy to navigate to understand which patient is appointed to which doctor and what are the chief complaint about it what is the case type which is actually not there in most most of the system because you need to manually understand it sometimes trying to bring out the papers from the old stock and by the patient is you know by the time the patient is inside the uh, counseling room you don't have any of the history now the idea is to reduce the patient time from reception to the doctor to the exit so that more patients can come in it's easy to navigate the patient and you can cater to more numbers of patients in a more you know what you say technical way or more easy way uh, not to uh, uh, forget that everything that is done is recorded so there is one thing i would like to convey to you that uh, which was a specific requirement from the doctor was he wanted to have the counseling to be recorded as a video so when the patient came in he just wanted to understand that the patient is there the doctor is counseling the radio is uh, sorry the video is on and that video is automatically attached to the patient's profile what happens in this doctor said that um, whenever we discuss about the amount to be for a particular operation uh, we do discuss about a certain amount of to the patient but the patient comes after third or fourth time with his relatives and say oh, me you are not agreed to this amount you said that there is some x amount so this was a very specific requirement from the doctors and we said okay it's, it's very easy for us to do it it didn't took us like 3 days of our internal development to deliver that to him now customization is all about this we are not a me too and i think that a lot of the hospitals over here and doctors should think about customization because that's going to reduce a lot of time from patient journey from patient registration to exit and post patient definitely that's going to affect positively the bottom line of the hospital probably making it more profitable in terms of and also making it more responsible why because you have every consent and record on cloud so any time the patient comes in for any of the other activity you are very sure that you know the system is there and it's going to respond to your queries so this was a smaller uh, you know first implementation i would say in surat that we did and uh, <clears throat> fortunately we have got more leads through word of mouth because there are a lot of doctors around and he said okay we need this uh, system even if they are running some systems in their you know uh, hospital setup most of them are 50 plus bedded hospital uh, who are multi speciality and super speciality in surat so uh, i would like to end this note by saying that <clears throat> the right time you know i i i heard about uh you know project management and stuff and somebody asked what is the right time to you know get in the consultants i would say yesterday you know because that's exactly what you need and when you're trying to build up the entire infrastructure with uh the body of the hospital the heart and the brain needs to actually work you know work in a more symbiotic way because systems as i believe are not lifeless they are with life because uh most of the decision that a person can make are system dependent but also emotionally attached so let's talk about more of customization if you have any queries i'm open for the yes please sir this is actually used compatible to any mobile so we don't we're not getting into an app based uh, uh, application right now only for a reason that this is almost 80 to 90% as per the standards of any doctors we are waiting for that 10% when we actually make sure that okay when we are 95% okay we are going to launch a app but right now it's compatible with your mobile so you can use it as an app it will not look as a website so you log log in from your mobile it will look as an app it's compatible with your screen any screen 5.5 inch above you will be able to use the system it's a one time uh, base model so what we do is we take 
one master license fees for a year. In that ma master license fees, uh, we give two years of uh, AMC free, only because of a reason, and also customization. So it's an X amount, it depends upon how many bedded hospital you are and what is the load. Say for example, recently we got a lead from Delhi. They're using an old system. They want the entire data to migrate over here. So the costing effects. So one time license fees and then EMCs, that's it. No, it is in the license fees. Because we don't want to burden you. Sir, you know, pharmacy ke liye kuch hai, then it will cost X. Because that never happens. We need the doctors to have the peace of mind. So once we start communicating with the doctors, we try to understand what are the pain points. 80 to 90% of the system is ready. We just make those customization and give it to you. Yes. So <clears throat> this is for all specialities. For Surat, it's basically neurology. So we delivered that neurology model for them. There were specific requirements for neurological patients that, okay, uh, the image images and the you know brain scan images needs to come and stuff. We did that customization. So that comes as a customization part. We have for diabetes, we have for cardiology, we have for neurology right now. Um, other indication as and when there is a requirement, we'll try to deliver it. Yes, everything is integrated. It's an open system. So the best part is, if you have packs, we can integrate it. Any images from any system can get loaded over here. The best part is it's hosted on the biggest servers with really good RAM size and size. So we, once we try to conclude at how many image processings are there, it can be limbs, it can be lab reports, we allocate a specific area or space for that particular hospital. And that's all secured. I mean, you know the cloud system, sir. Yes, we have a tally kind of a system. Uh, for Surat, we have actually integrated that tally to the billing. So they wanted me, I want my tally because uh, primarily the CAs are very up for the tally formats. So we have tally kind of a system, but if you want tally to be integrated, we integrate it to this particular system. So any billing and stuff, it goes directly to tally and it comes out as a tally output. Yes, sir. So from your hospital's perspective, what is the need? Should I have a cloud-based server or we should have enough server or SQL server, combination of these? So I'll tell you what, uh, recent, recently we delivered something for Linus Medical in Bahrain. They had the same query. What we suggest is you have cloud base because it will drastically reduce your cost first. Let me interrupt you. Like right now also you are seeing these problems of internet in city like Nagpur or two entire cities where uh, internet is not very far. Do you still suggest uh, cloud based system yes, where sir. internet can create a problem? No, it will not create, sir, because that's exactly the uh, concern a lot of doctors said is. The system will not operate with the internet speed that you have. If you have a minimum of one MB, Mbps, which is very least in India, it will still operate because it's operating on the server speed. And the kind of servers that we have are very fast. So we are not hosting this into your system. We are hosting this to a cloud-based system. So if you, even if you have a 500 MB speed, it will work as very, very easily functional system. It will not have any lags or It has an offline module. So what happens is the, the time you keep on putting it, once the internet is up, it will pull up the data. That means you should have enough, enough, enough server available. Uh, not required, because what happens is once you're trying to get that data, it is getting linked to our servers. But for safety reason, like if people are very con concerned that, okay, we need a hardware, we can have a very one TB kind of a server, which will co cost you hardly a few thousand bucks. You don't need to have entire racks of, unless until the operations are that heavy. So if I'm talking about Apollos and Medantas, you need to have your servers. That is mandate. Yes. We'll suggest, we'll suggest a cloud-based system plus a hardware. So combination of this is perfect. Dhanaraj, I have a basic question. Yes, sir. When you say that your system is intelligent, can you get rid of the uh, keyboard from the doctor's desk? That's not possible, sir. Why can't you use the digital pencil or a pen? The recognition, you know, when I'm talking about OCRs, 
basically you're talking about OCRs. Yeah. What has happened is the handwritings of every doctor is different. So what A you write is A what he writes is different. It's not going to happen. Even if someone says that's possible, it's not possible. The thing that we're trying to do over here, which we are, now we have brought this point very intelligently. Why I said intelligent, we are tying up with IIT Bombay. They have this neural network system where we're talking about voice. So voice uh, text would be there. Yes. So we are trying to bring in, like if the doctor is there, the voice notes will be automatically uh, getting into this. Because that is where your uh, you know system would actually, actually turn intelligent. Exactly. So that's why I'm saying intelligent. Because I didn't want to bring it out <laughs> now. <laughs> but uh, when you said that, uh, we are working closely with IIT Bombay. They have a neural network platform. When I'm saying neural network, what happens is, say for example, I'll tell you like, in a layman term, when you shop on Flipkart, you're shopping for, say, probably Blazer. See, very consciously, the next time you go to any website, you'll see Blazers, Blazers and stuff. That's the neural map. Correct. So for this system, probably in another six months, we are going to create a neural map. Patient Aya, Popo poor, and the system knows that he has been admitted so much amount of time. He had a heart issue, congenital issue, or probably heart disease. And these are his possible. So that system is still a dream come true. But uh, fortunately, we are tying up with right people to get into this as a solution. And now, right now, no. And what is the, in the nearest time that uh, we can look into this? Six months down the line. Six months. Yes. Because the best part is IIT Bombay already have that particular system, license. And uh, they are using it for Vodafones and Airtels for customization of iTunes. So why not use it for healthcare? So we are coming into yeah, that. Because doctors and patients time both are important. Absolutely. And uh, most of the time doctors do the duplicate work. I mean, Absolutely. they, they uh, dictate and then again they have to type it. Absolutely. Uh, I think. Uh, Absolutely. So thanks for bringing that, sir. Any so uh, one-time license fee is 5 lakhs. That comes out with support, uh, edits, changes in terms of customization that you want. right? And I'm talking about just out of curiosity. So in case if there are a lot of customization, the price changes across as such. That's why we are able to give that. This is because we're talking about multiple replication model. The system is there. It's going to change in terms of customization and aesthetics. You're not going to build up everything, right? So it's so there are a group of doctors who want to come, and we might be able to give you a really nice <laughs> commercials on it. <laughs> For this, we have done three three right now. Uh, Surat is there. Uh, we are closely talking to SIDS uh, Digestive uh, Institute in Surat itself and Linus Medical Center Berlin. Uh, the next system that we are going to implement is in uh, state of Bolivia. Uh, now they want 25 hospitals to be integrated into one system, 25 hospitals. And the uh, ministry over there are very keen to create a communication platform rather than just patient catering platform. Because you talk about state of Bolivia, they are, like the disease profile and everything is too, too diverse. They're not able to get a right. So they want to integrate 25 hospitals into one. So that's in place. Probably for them, we are giving the learning system because it's going to take time. It's a very big project, like six months down the line. So right now, so that's how it is. The system is there. We can have the demos. We are going live with the first version by end of this month for Surat. And we are already talking to a few hospitals in Nagpur. And I've extended my stay till 19th over here. So you never know. You might have some installations here. We are based out of Bombay, uh, Mahape, to be precise. We have offices in Pune, Mumbai, and Thane. We have offices in US and Berlin, international. So, so quite decent team. We are just not, you know, the, the, the software development company next door. The parent company is 25 years old into the uh, industry segments of BFSI, banking, finance, right? So a team of more than 100 developers that we have in Bombay Center. So all the development takes place from Bombay and Pune. And that we are able to cater to anyone in India. Uh, Delhi one is, in fact, Delhi, we are speaking to someone, uh, you know, who's coming up with a Medicity, very big. And they want a system which is implemented in Queen's Hospital in London. So we are talking about talking to them and implementing the same system for this gentleman in Delhi. Yes, sir. I guess, yeah. Yes, sir. So when you're talking about... Yes. 
So when we're talking about communication with the lab equipments, we're talking about packs already been there, right? So there are other systems which are not packs. Pathology and biochemistry. Yes. Correct. Radiology, pathology, yeah. But the thing is that your systems need to have that output. So if your system doesn't have that output, then it can't be done, you know, because that system needs to have an output data. So that output data is actually customized to your forms over here. So it's not going to be like, say, for example, biochemistry, blood reports, uh, some XDL and stuff. You don't have to take as a print, scan it. Jo usme generate hota, wo directly ita raja hota. With all equipments, all means all components. All the components, whatever you define. Say, for example, if there is entire sheet, the you know, form sheet, which have twelve different, uh, what do you say, pointers, we'll include that in this. And it takes time. It takes time. You know, these are systems. It's IT. But trust me, when we are saying this, it's like a human body. When you give us some uh, inputs, it really takes time sometimes. You know, so. Anything else, guys? I'm here like till so, evening and until 19th I'm here. My contact details are here. You want to catch up for a lunch, dinner? Yeah, coffee. of course. You can catch up with uh, Dhanraj at the lunch. Session. Yeah. So, <laughs> sorry, I had to interrupt. So yeah. thank you so much. Thanks, sir, Thanks. And uh, I'd like to call upon uh, Dr. Girdar Gani once again, please, to present a memento. It's a pleasure to. I worked with him very long time ago, but I am sure, sir, आपने आपने पहचाना नहीं होगा। ये मेरा था ना RFID की जो बात कर रहे हैं लोग। Now are you also taking care of RFID and digital? Yes, yes. So sir, ने एक बोला है, so give me one minute. So what we are doing is we have created an ID card which has an RFID tag for Linus and Bahrain. So Bahrain में एक ऐसी चीज़ है that they have like Aadhaar card, they have this ID cards. So what happens is going to go going to happen over there. They just have to bring that card. They scan it and entire data is mapped. Mm -hmm. So they don't have multiple cuts. With India system, we are also trying to connect it with the uh, third party insurance. Yeah. So what happens is a patient comes, he knows he has that insurance, and the card is swiped, and the entire journey is mapped through that card. And these are RFID as well as the you know swap cards. Uh, we are going to go to the next level, where possibly the patient will be able to put money into that cards, like Paytm. So that he doesn't have to worry, the cash is somewhere else and stuff. You know, he has these pointers and points. That's in the process. Good. Thanks a lot. Sir. Very nice. Thanks a lot. We will connect you with our number. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.